The bottom plates of oil storage tanks sometimes need to be replaced due to corrosion. This replacement work usually involves lifting the tank with hydraulic jacks, a costly and time-consuming exercise. I am going to share my experience that will reduce the cost and time in storage tank repair work. Install a reinforcing ring, inside the tank 300 to 350 mm above the bottom plate. This will help to retain the circular shape of the tank during rectification work. I suggest to cut the rings from the same shell thickness and 200 mm wide. Length of the ring shall be minimum 2500 mm. Tack weld the ring on the tank is shown in the video. The rings must be tacked together. Overlap must be a minimum of 200 mm. We need to cut a door sheet, large enough for a bobcat or a small road roller. Before cutting the opening, the sides of the opening shall be reinforced. 200 mm ISMC, or IPE etc. are acceptable. Remember, between the beam and the annular plate, leave a 25 mm gap. Otherwise removing the same annular plate must be difficult. These beams are not supposed to bear the load of the shells. This beams will reinforce the opening. If you like this video, please subscribe, comment and share. Before starting the work, make sure all the safety measures have been taken. Provide proper lighting and ventilation. After installing the reinforcement, cut the opening. Make a ramp, in front of the opening, to move the roller, excavator, plates etc. inside and outside the tank. Cut the welding between the annular plate and the bottom plate using any suitable method like, gas cutting, grinding etc. Now start cutting the sketch and bottom plates from the far end of the opening. Otherwise moving the scrap plate out of the tank will be difficult. Dac weld hooks on the scrap plate. Use ropes and pipes and pull out the plates out of the tank. Remove the sumps, pipe connections, vortex breaker, 
supports, etc., out of the tank. Hammer wedges between the annular plate and the foundation, around the tank to lift the tank 10 to 15 millimeters. Use 6 to 8 millimeters thick plates below the wedges, to protect the concrete wall from damage. I tribute the newly fabricated annular plates around the tank. Mark a line around the tank, twenty five millimeters from the top of the annular plate. Let us start removing the annular plate. Cut the two adjacent plate overlapping roughly 150 mm on both ends. Remember, cut shell 25 mm above the annular plate only on the two annular plates. Cut as many pieces so that the scrap can be easily removable. Clean the edge of the shell to eliminate the gap between the shell plate and the annular plate. Clean inner, and, outer face for a clean and smooth welding. Simultaneously, if required, remove the sand from inside the tank and fill back and compress. Insert one newly fabricated annular plate on its location. Check distance from the shell. Stack weld the annular plate to the shell. Use wedges to lift the annular plate in its position. Insert the adjacent annular plate. Tack weld to the shell plate. Check the joint. Make sure the joint is of good quality.
attack world from inside their shell also. Now cut the shell bottom to accommodate a single annular plate in 150mm more only. Install the next annular plate. Cut again for the next annular plate. Cut only one by one and fit up the annular plates one by one. After the completion of the annular plate fit up, remove all the wedges. Provide proper supports and complete the welding of all the annular plate joints. As you remove the wedges, the tank will sit on the foundation completely. Complete the welding between the annular plate and the shell plate. Erect the sumps first. Start laying the bottom plates as per sequence. Weld the short seams, then the long seams alternately. Final welding shall be between the annular plates and the bottom plate. After the completion of the welding, Remove the temporary reinforcing ring at the bottom of the tank. Don't remove the supports at the opening. Put back the shell on the opening. Complete the welding. Then only remove the supports. Remove the ramp. 